it's the week before Christmas and I'm decked out in gift giving gear because I'm giving you all a gift today. So many of you have asked about Katherine Hepburn's voice. I'm gonna be honest, Kate Hepburn is a little ahead of my time because she is one of the old Hollywood actresses and I didn't really know who she was, but I did look into it and she definitely has something going on with her voice. So today we're gonna to talk about it. Today we're gonna to be looking at three different videos because I feel like we need to see her before and then kind of a video where I felt like maybe something was brewing and then the last video will be where she definitely has something significant going on with her voice and really overall something going on with her whole body. So let's get into that. The first video is going to be when she is very, very young, and I apologize for that. I couldn't find something that was closer to the other videos. So we're gonna take it with a grain of salt that she is very young here. It's from 1940, but you can still see a nice clear voice. So that's kind of like the baseline that we're gonna use. No. No. Come around about noon tomorrow. I mean today. Snob. What do you mean, snob? You're the worst kind there is, an intellectual snob. You made up your mind awfully young, it seems to me. Well, 30's about time to make up your mind. You can see that her voice it sounds great. She's obviously like in the prime of her life. It's smooth, it's clear, it's crisp. It sounds very old Hollywood and really nothing more to say there. So that's the baseline. Now let's take a look at this middle video where I felt like I could kind of hear here and there that there was something going on. You know, I, I, how the hell could I tell the story of my life? I can't tell you the things and wouldn't think of it that have made me do this or this or this at certain periods. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 because then I would be uh, fixing it so that you knew my secret. Yeah. And my secret is what pushes me on and each one of us has a secret. Okay, so this is very, very subtle. When she was doing the kind of fillers, like uh, um, in between her phrases, you can kind of hear like a shakiness to that voice. I did look into this beforehand because it's common knowledge. She did have a diagnosis of essential tremor. Now, essential tremor can affect the entire body, but here we can see that it's mostly just affecting her voice at this point. Now, let's talk about what essential tremor is before we get into the next video. Essential tremor is a neurological condition that affects different parts of the body that basically causes rhythmic shakiness in different parts. It could be the head. You might notice this kind of movement here. You'll notice it in the hands. It can be in the trunk. It can definitely be in the voice and you might also notice it in the legs. Now, the most common place for it is the head and the hands. We didn't notice this in Catherine as far as what I could see in the video that we just saw, but in this next video, it becomes more obvious. So let's take a look at that video. Well, I, from the feet I learned, you have to know a little bit what you're doing. And you are the only person who is to blame in your life, really. You can't move on saying, well, I don't want to go this way. I'm going this way because you're pushing me. Don't do that. There's one person to blame, and that is you. A lot of people actually suspected that she had Parkinson's, but she did not. It was a diagnosis of essential tremor for sure. And what you notice is that rhythmic head movement. She's got the shakiness of the hands. We can't really see her legs all that well, but you can definitely hear the tremor in her voice. I'm not going to focus on the entire body because I'm a speech therapist. So I'm gonna break down what exactly is causing the shakiness in her voice. So as I talked about before, a central tremor is a neurological condition. Now they don't know what exactly causes it, but they do believe that the cerebellum has something to do with it. When they look at these brain scans, what they find is that there's overactivity in the cerebellum. The cerebellum is in the back of the brain and it typically involves coordination of movement. So it would make sense that some sort of overactivation of the cerebellum would start to impact different parts of the motor system. One of the motor movements that we need to consider is breathing. The diaphragm goes up and down in order for us to inhale and exhale. We need to have a nice, 
solid foundation of breathing in order to speak nice and clear. Now, if coordination in the diaphragm is messed up in some way, you're gonna get weird inhales and exhales and then that contributes to the flow of air through the voice box and out of the mouth. The second way is actually in the articulators themselves. You can kind of see when she's speaking that her articulators aren't in total control. So her mouth, maybe her tongue, we can't see the back of her throat, possibly those are being impacted by the tremor as well. You get this very uncoordinated movement in the mouth, possibly with the diaphragm not doing what it's supposed to do, and then you get this incredibly shaky voice. There are a variety of ways that this can be treated. I don't wanna to spend too much time on that in this video. So if you guys are interested in how essential tremor can be treated, let me know in the comments and I'll definitely make a video about that. But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed this gift. I hope I explained clearly what was going on with Katherine Hepburn. I really enjoyed going down this rabbit hole because it was fun to watch some of those old videos and just kind of reminisce about a time that is gone. If you guys have anyone else that you want me to look into and talk about, definitely also let me know in the comments. All right, guys, have a good day and I'll see you guys in the next video.